Welcome one and all to Harold Halibut. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I'm stepping into the shoes of an unassuming maintenance worker that can't seem to catch a break. It's been years since our colony spaceship crash landed on an alien water planet and everyone has settled into their new home. But new and strange things are happening, from public unrest towards bureaucracy to strange messages from the fish. Can I stay out of trouble? Let's find out in Harold Halibut. All right, here we go with Harold Halibut. This is a new point and click adventure game. Now I say point and click, but I do believe the control scheme is more like say Grim Fandango, where you actually move your character around. The game does recommend the usage of a controller, so that is indeed what I am using. But the unique thing about this game is everything in it from the characters to the environment was made physically and then scanned into the game. So from what I've seen in the trailers, it has this almost stop motion animated movie look to it. Now, if you want to check this game on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it with a new game. Wow, already this game looks amazing. Is this us? Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no, but wait. I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the Social District is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. We but only last month, it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. Oh, the game looks crazy. Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, 
I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. Oh, here we are. Oh, this looks great. It does feel like I'm watching a movie. So can I talk to you? Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I- Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary, let me just... I mean, look, can't we- <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> Ahem, uh, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary Number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid All Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. Hello? Can I talk to you? Or I'm just going to take a seat. So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. we Will do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! Oh, it must be nice to have rich parents. We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company... We seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Here we go. I'm out of here. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time, this must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never snapped out of that daydream. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Eesh. I'm sorry, Professor. Jeez. Can I go... Wait, can I go back? I want to take a look at... I I really like the, the design here. Can I run? Oh, wait, I can stop. Can't seem to run. Oh, I can focus. Yeah, the <laughs> the background wall here. It's like it's like in a movie. It's a painted wall to look like the hallway extends further than it does. That is great. All right, man. I wish I could move faster. Harold is not in a hurry at all. No, 
mean, what is this? Is the elevator? Central Station All Water District. Was oh, that that's where we we are, right? So we want to go to Central Station. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. Oh geez, what kind of transport system is that? You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Temporarily. We hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision-making process that led to this, sir, but I assure you it will be for the good of your overall long-term tube traveling experience. So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? Ah, as of yet, there is no discount scheme in place as we calculated the possible inconvenience to be negligible. Wouldn't need a discount if the prices weren't so high in the first place. I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I'm just a travel secretary. So what can you comment on? I am authorized to comment on the nature of the tube closure, which is that all water have had to close the line temporarily for improvement works. Yes, you said that. Have these improvements been carried out before? I cannot say if the exact same optimizations have been made to another line. So what can you comment on? I can confirm that there is no discount scheme in place, and that we believe the fares to be fair. So who calculates the fair, fair price? I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I'm just a travel secretary. This is ridiculous. Can I talk to your manager? Certainly, sir. If you'd just like to go to the all-water public office and make a managerial communication meeting request with Secretary 24 there. Well, I'm sure... Uh, the reason, sir, is that all-water... I'm sure Secretary 24 is going to love that. Okay, uh, she went this a ways. And, oh, the lab. That's where we're going. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. Man, we're gonna be wet everywhere we go. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in, uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but... All water raised the tube fares again, and they never announced it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who- Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish too? Ah, uh, yes, those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh. Uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Open and close PDA. Hello. Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. So we have main tasks, clean the filter, feed the fish, and optional tasks, no optional tasks. Oh, 
or we can flip pages here. Oh, I bet we're going to fill this out as we go along. Very nice. Nothing yet. Wait, those are messages? Okay. So we need to feed the fish and then clean the filter station. Drat, it's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Ask Cyrus about fish food. What's over here? Oh, is this like uh, storage, it looks like? Can't interact with anything in here. You have a suit as well. Can I go up here into the uh, Jeffrey's tube? Oh, wait. Oh, I can run. Oh, excellent. All right, where are we going? There's like stairs down here. Oh, this is where this is where we live. All right, so wait, the filter sta it's not the filter station, right? No. Let's go back out. Where am I? There I am. Lab quarters, lounge. It's in the lounge. Oh, hello. Ah, Harold. Perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum. You too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. What brings you to the lounge anyway? What brings you to the lounge anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. What is Sun Tzu's Ashk? Yes, Sun Tzu's Ashk. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, well, with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth powering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. That is a whole, that's a whole lot of seasons to catch up on. Drink Zoop water. What kind of, this, what kind of lounge is this? It's like a lounge for one person. All right, level one. Hold on, before we go down, what is over here? Oh, this is where we came from. That's the uh, the elevator or the tube, which we can't use yet because we're only allowed to go back home. The water closet. Anything of interest? Uh oh. Does not look like it. Oh, there we go. Filtration pump. Oh, what is that outside? There's some kind of tentacle. That's not good. I hope that glass is nice and thick. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I moved that. I was just moving the left thumbstick around. I highlight that? No. It's... Wait, go back this way? That's green. 
Okay, I can move the little dot back and forth. Come over there. Do I press a button? Oh, there. I can select one of these two. Uh, the first one, and the power goes all the way up. There. Oh, I think that was wrong. Maybe this one? There? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I think... I think this top one is back. Back? Yeah, that top one is back. So, click this here. And then question mark, swirly. I think that did it. Whatever it did. Clean as a whistle again. All right, excellent. Can I can I go in here? No. So now we need to feed the fish. I need to talk to wait, where's my PDA? I need to talk to somebody. Who was it? Ask Cyrus. Cy is the guy to ask about fish food. Okay, where is Cyrus? What are add-ons? Space toast. Oh, what is? I I'm. What am I? Oh, go back. <laughs> toast. I can go to the right. I can go to the left. What is this? It's space toast. Systems. Oh, look at all this. Oh my. Okay. Uh, let's go back out. Let's go find Cyrus. Oh, I am stuck walking for some reason. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that was really weird. I think I was, like, stuck in an animation from when I successfully cleared the filtration. But <laughs> we're back. The tentacle is still there. Uh, what is this way? Botanical concepts and the obs oh, observatory is down. We can't go that way, though. Oh, this is quite open. Hello. Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the- Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it, promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. I like Sai already. Whoa, what is this? We're free out here. Oh, did you see that? Was that fish real? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ah, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy, too? What? What, what is going on in this game? The fish are handwriting letters, notebook, the light keepers. 
Oh, look at all this. We have we have pictures drawn. Of I don't even know what I'm looking at. What have been what have I been doing? Oh, there's uh what's his name in the lounge? Oh, this is the guy who grabbed us. Oh, that's the uh that's the second that's Mr. Secretary, number twenty four. And there's the lounge and painting and oh, I don't know what's going on on down there. Interesting. Okay, uh to do feed the fish add-ons. I thought we had some, some kind of journal. Systems. Parse memory lines. Okay. Uh, let's go feed the fish. Come up this way. Back up all these stairs. Alright, here we go, fishies. I got some lovely food for you. Brand new. Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. Excellent. Okay, Herald Bot Diagnostic Report. Scanning. Scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination Agora Arcades. <laughs> what are you doing, Harold? You're going all grandma's boy. Okay, we need to go to the Agora Arcades. So we need to go to the. the tube. I keep wanting to call it the elevator. All right, here we go. Ah, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Can we find like another way there? C completed, go to the ar arcades. Uh, task, watch the announcement. Oh, probably in the lounge. I like how everything is sort of like rusted over and old, but the all water corp ah, tube system here. Oops. I suppose the ticket react. Oh, I can skip. Oh, nice. The all water corp uh, corporation is nice and shiny over there. All right, let's go to the lounge and watch this announcement. Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Oh, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note... I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlechop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It 
may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And... Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right. The buoy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo! We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro! At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch? Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. Completed. Watch the announcement. So we're supposed to go get some sleep? Good evening, everyone. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a picture of the solar system on the back, too, on the wall there. Oh, boy. What a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But, Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. I could probably use a blanket. I can't afford a blanket. Day one, day 18,251 after crash. So it's been years.
All right, let's go see what's up. The buoy should be at the surface by now, right? Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The buoy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. I like how the tutorials are basically just our, our character being very forgetful. Now, activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. Uh, oh, over here. Oh, look at this. Fancy. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. If you remember your left and right, bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. There we go. Et voila! Check the microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one for... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured, yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Oh, I can talk to you. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're microwave boy. So, you do remember me. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? What about the reserves? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. And then the Bloomy Rocks. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. <laughs> Richard, still can't remember my name. So... Dare I ask, what is it? 
energy shortage. So, Bridget told me about some kind of energy shortage and to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. Yes, she mentioned she may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind problem. It's speculative, and now isn't the time. That all? Uh, yep, yeah, I guess that's all. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. Okay, we gotta go find another rock. But we can use- Harold, when you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... Uh, don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. Alright, message for Cyrus. Let's go do that first, since he's in this area. Before we have to take the tube. I believe he's downstairs. Wait, is... Are you still in the lounge? I can get through the door. You are not. Oh, but I can... I can watch the TV. <laughs> I can just sit here and watch TV. Okay. Uh... Let's go find Cyrus. Hopefully he's still in the lab area. Well, we're in the lab area, but his little fish food area where we talked to him last. Right this way. Oh, nope, of course he's not. Okay. Let's go take the tube. Oh, and I wonder where it does our PDA tell us where everybody is? Oh, we have new <laughs> new drawings. There's the buoy looking for signals, and it looks like that's us down under the water. Moreau wants me to go to Tommy's general store at the Agora Arcades and ask if he has an old blue rock in his stash. Okay, that's where we're going. To the arcades. To the arcades. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Man, I must be like cold all the time. You may now exit the tube. Utterly Thank unconcerned you for your own safety. No respect for authority. For wanton disregard today. for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain things. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold! I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. Um, I've got no idea or knowledge. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or organizational merit? What? No, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here... Not me. Major... Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. Um, he's just a kid. I just meant, I mean, if you just relax. Relax? Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Uh, but, but, 
What did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect or authority, wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine! I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. Um, I'm just getting out of here. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh, no. Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But, Major, what is the subject? That's right, Harold. Know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man! Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix! Oh. Where is Felix? Oh, no. Felix? Harold, you've lost him! Gah! And, and now you've lost me. I'm out of here. Uh, hello, you. What are you doing? Hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary Eight. Or Secretary 24, of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so... There's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly all-water raffle bonanza? Oh, sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from all water to you, the citizens of Fedora. Uh, what are, what are the prizes? What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries, a plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the all water public access forum. All right, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time, but that's life. Try again next month. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, task, speak to secretary number eight. Oh, look at this. This is what we saw in the beginning. Oh, looks great. Okay, we have to find... Was it Tommy? I gotta go back now. Oh, wait, we have a message from John Slippy Jr. Uh, yes, Slippy's double black diamond deals are now on for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. Visit Slippy's today. And... Message for Cyrus. Moreau wants me to ask Cyrus how are the details coming along. Not sure why she can't text him, but he should be at the Energy District. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tommy's General Store. Gertrude's Beer Zone. Slippies. Oh, there's Slippies. Oh, look at this. Remember, it's all water. Man, the corporations have really taken over, haven't they? Potions potions and magic oh here is it the general store is that it intercom oasis oh it's closed no okay where's where's tommy oh hello hey buddy hey harold great to see you how about that announcement eh yeah it was really something it sure was 
I try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station jog. The jog? Uh, I was only... Chris promised me he'd be here any minute. Now we've really got a jog team on our hands. I think I'll pass. No one's forcing you, Harold. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that I can do. How's the post today? Ah, oh, it's a bit slow, what with the tube to the utility district being out, so I can't really work. Not working makes me so restless. I hope it's back soon. Good thing you have the arcades to jog around. Yep. And Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. That young man is almost as fit as me. Why do I feel like I'm the odd one out? Oh, hey, Chris. Last to arrive, first to finish. That's my motto. Harold, won't you stay? The jog team won't be the same without you. Yeah, venga, Harold. You can't leave now, I just got here. Jog team, jog team, jog team. Uh, I'd love to, but I really must be going. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's go jogging. Um, okay. Go jog team. <laughs> Come oh, on, now that I know how to run. Yeah. Oh, I cannot keep up at all. Congrats, You're doing great. Guys. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> and they're gone. Become one with the jog. Oh, jeez. I thought I was fit. <sighs> I mean, I do run around a lot. Go on. Without me. <sighs> Good show, Harold. How's everyone feeling? <sighs> I think that was a new personal best for me. Fine. Fine. Thanks, buddy. How'd you both keep so fit? <sighs> oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around this station for years. Gotta keep up my reputation for same-day service after all. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's what keeps me going. Gotta set a good example for those lazy students of mine, too. <laughs> Have you got any tips? Just keep on moving, Harold. You never know when you'll have to slow down. So keep going while you can. Notebook the run. So is that... Those are the, the drawings, right? Yeah, <laughs> the drawings. I'm so tired there at the top. That is hilarious. Okay, uh, I don't think the person over on the stage is who we need. Oh, look at this giant statue up here, too. Can I take a look at this? Who is this? Hello? No? Anything of interest up here? Coming soon. Uh, oh, there's a little, like, bar area here. Hello. I'm looking for Tommy. Hello. Hey, man. Welcome to the fish fish hut. Sample our homegrown fedora fish or our freshwater catch of the day. What's the catch of the day today? Today, we have the great spotted super grouper. Sounds tasty. Uh, just out of interest, is that a native fish? Not to tell, man. You know, a few of the ship's fish escaped during the crash. So we don't know if they thrive in the ocean or even intermingle with native species. But we can guarantee that fresh super grouper taste you know and love. Uh, do I get, do I get a fish? Can I eat? Hello again. F -f 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 Fancy some f -f 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 fish? You know where we are. Okay, I guess not. Uh, can I talk to you? Nope. All right, let's head back down. We did get a message, right, from Slippy. You seem to be open. You're cool. So be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. So you see, that's the Slippy difference. And if you just watch this exciting infomercial, ah, uh, Harold, if it isn't my favorite multi-maintenance man. Wait, are you sure I can't interest you in... Oh, never mind. Hello. 
How's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad, and I need your opinion. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well, I'm not really qualified to... Nonsense! Just watch! I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot to concentrate. Will I ever be able to read to my children? or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again. Why, yes, of course you will. With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Jimson Jameson himself. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. Burr. Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? My family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. You know what they say, warm hands, warm heart. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmires throughout history have kept everyone from royalty to the common man warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. The Schlipmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One project, giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into slippies. Slippies, heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. That was amazing. Well, what did you think? Uh, it was, <laughs> just let me leave. It was slick. Um, it was, there were lots of things and. Uh... Great, so glad you agree. And while you're here. I was just going. Ah, oh, come on. You can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. It's new and improved by a little modification to my patented aircon system that I'm calling the Freezer. Is that... do I have to... I'm glad you asked. It combines precise atmospheric condition synthesis with the ski sim to recreate the most lifelike experience of skiing you can dream of. That sounds... uh, wait. Me? Skiing? But I don't... Nonsense. I'm sure you're a natural. Now let's get you strapped in. Oh, no. I'm going to hurt myself here. Aren't we on a ship, though? Don't we have, like, climate control? He's talking about seasons. But <laughs> are there seasons while we're under the water in this ship? Okay, what do I do here? Uh, oh, I move forward and backwards. Down. Up. Uh, A. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Harold, you were really blown away by it, huh? First time's the hardest. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> I guess I'm slippy by name, but you're slippy by nature. <laughs> I guess so. I'd really better go now. Sure, sure, but just so you know, I run a pretty generous referral scheme, if you're interested. For every customer you get. Got a dash. Okay, Harold, be skiing ya. Nope, I don't want to hear about your uh, pyramid scheme. All right, uh, let's go in here. Oh, how about you over at the what bar? You think about the announcement then? I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new boy thing and all might give us something new to natter about. A new boy, Zim? What's it going to pick up anyway? Alien radio drama? Not sure, Alon. Maybe we'll get some fancy pictures. Seems to me be more interesting to go sideways than back up top. You're going sideways, Alon. Right you are, Zim. It's all this sitting around nattering with you. I uh, don't mind me. I'm not eavesdropping or nothing. I ain't dropping no eaves. Hello. 
Hey, Tommy. I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? Uh, or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh, uh, no. What do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters. And I feel like you might have one. Shh, quiet. Don't be mentioning filter Frankie. You know that every piece of my inventory is legally obtained or, or legally found. Right? Right, sure. That's why I'm here. To legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants just then. You sure you don't want me to come back another time? It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know I'm oversharing again. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. Look, kid, either way, I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Ah, uh, if you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note, that's all. She's been spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know, the guy in the silk robe and the flowing locks? Completed. Okay, we did that, but we still don't have any any rocks. Check on Bridget. Where Where's Bridget? Let's check our... Oh, <laughs> there's a skiing. Tommy refuses to open up the general store because of the relationship stuff with Bridget. Maybe I should go to the energy district and see if there's anything I can help her with. Okay, that's also where Cyrus is. Excellent. So we can head back here to the lovely tube. Oh, we didn't talk to that guy that was over, uh, over sitting on the stage. We got a message, too, from the professor. Someone put graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore. Please clean it off. Okay, we'll get to that. We're st I'm, I'm looking for rocks. Down to the energy district. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Close your eyes. Inspecting. Oh, my. Contaminant detected. What? Please do not panic. I'm panicking. The procedure will begin in three, two. Uh, what are you doing? Is it done? Please Is it for your contaminant inspection? Is it over? I'm just going. Oh, look at this place. Oh, there they are. But we're at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this video. This game is great. I love every part of this. I, I'm really in awe that they built all of this and put it in the game. It looks amazing. And the voice acting is great. The writing is great. And I'm really intrigued about the storyline. There's talking fish out there. Well, I don't know about talking fish, but they can certainly read and write <laughs> and uh, send us messages and leaflets with things on them. So something is definitely going on here that is very strange. Once again, this is Harold Halibut. If you want to check this game on out, I'll have links in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.